The Ocelot Virtue, ladies and gentlemen. This is a vehicle that's based on the Lotus Avera. And the good news is it is currently available to everyone in GTA Online for free. That is right. This exact vehicle that I am in right here is available to everyone for free. If you're on console and you have GTA Plus, this vehicle is available for free. If you don't have GTA Plus, this vehicle, this exact vehicle that I am currently sitting in, you can get the Freedman Therapeutics Ocelot Virtue, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is make sure you do the last dose missions. That is right. The Los Santos Drug Wars Part 2 came out today and there's five new missions. If you didn't do the first five, you're going to have to make sure you do those first and then the last next five. But there is five new ones, 10 obviously in total with the entire DLC Part 1 and 2. But once you've completed the last five, this vehicle, Dax will call you, tell you where it's parked and it is yours for free. This is a $2.2 million car, almost $3 3 million if you buy it outright with cash and uh, it's definitely worth it. Let's have a little listen to this thing. And when I say listen, I don't mean listen because it's silence, but let's see this thing accelerate. It is rapid. <laughs> it is so quick. But anyway, you're probably thinking, why are you destroying this beautiful brand new car? Well, we're not. We're actually going to be completely doing this thing up right now here together, ladies and gentlemen, because this is an Armani tech vehicle. And we're going to be taking this, fully customizing it, and seeing what this thing can look like and what it can do once fully upgraded. So let's go ahead and fully upgrade this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and start this thing up and fully customize this absolute beauty. Okay, so aerials, let's go ahead and we'll put on... Hmm, what do we think? We'll put on the plastic one. Or do we do the paint colored? I mean, it's the exact same thing, just plastic. It seems stupid to spend like 45,000 more just for the... <laughs> just for the colored ones but we'll do plastic for now because i don't know what the secondary color is going to be okay so armor obviously we're going to be spending the full 50k on fully upgrading this thing armor plating yes please it doesn't really take away from the look of this car too much so we'll just go ahead and put it on brakes obviously race brakes bumpers obviously yeah let's see what we got first uh okay that's just extended the lip so we have carbon is all going to be like plastic. I actually don't usually like this style bumper, but it fits this car actually perfectly. Mind you, so uh, that looks good too. What do I prefer, that or that? Probably that. I think something like that might be too much. It looks like we're doing some snow plowing. You know what I mean? It's a bit, it's a bit too big. It's a bit too big. I actually really like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay, we're going for this one. Fifteen thousand five hundred done. Rear bumper. So a primary trim diffuser. So obviously this has been customized. This has already been customized because we're taking somebody else's car. So the stock one, this is what it looks like. The one that he has on it is this one. She's probably the one I'm going to choose. What a... Yeah. Sure, why not? It looks cool. <laughs> this car is just ridiculous. You know what I mean? We're going to make it look as ridiculous as possible. Engine. Yes, let's go ahead. EMS full level four upgrade. The cannons. Uh, let's see. One... I kind of like these ones, you know. I think these may be just a bit too... This is my second favorite. This is probably my first. And then these big ones, I'm just not a huge fan of at all. So I think we'll go with either this or this. You know, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this. I prefer this one, the cheapest. Horn, we're just going to keep it standard. Armani Tech, lady. Armani, Armani Tech, ladies and gentlemen. Remote control units. Do we want that? Missile lock jammer. jammer. We definitely want that. So let's go ahead and throw that thing on there. 400,000. Is it worth it? Probably not since I'm not going to be, you know, in a public lobby driving this thing around very often. But, you know, we'll put it on there. Headlights. You've got to go for the Xeon lights, right? Neon kits. This is a very futuristic car. So I feel like it does need neon kits. But we need to figure out what we're going to have this car looking like. Obviously, I don't mind this Friedman Therapeutics because I like... It kind of looks like the Mercedes Patronus F1 color. You know what I mean? It's, it's actually really nice. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be going for that. Let's see. This is actually very similar to what the actual Lotus in real life. They have a livery that looks just like this. This looks sick. <laughs> this actually looks really goddamn cool. I don't know why, but this just looks amazing. And this color too, the black with like that fluorescent like green on it too kind of matches my walls in my uh my office here but i really like the look of this man 
I do like these stripes and things like that, but I kind of want to go with what I originally said I was going to do, which is make it look like this picture right here, which is the marketing picture they used. And I think it looks kind of cool. And to do that, we would need this stripe right here. Um, so yeah, I kind of I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. So we're going to do it. So the stock mirrors, there's none because it's got cameras. Or we could do the ones that he's put on it, which are the primary, which I mean, cars, I think, do look better with mirrors than without, in my opinion. Or we could do a secondary color, or we could do it in carbon. Hmm. Do we even want mirrors? You know what? I'm going to say no mirrors, just because it's a futuristic car, and I, you know, why the hell not? Go ahead and just throw a black plate on there. Why not? I'm not going to put any proximity mines on it. Respray. Yes, please. You know what? We're going to do the paints. We're going to do the paints at our auto shop. Because I haven't unlocked a lot of things. But if obviously, if you go to your auto shop, they'll all be unlocked there. So we'll do the paint at the auto shop. Okay, so for roof, stock roof, we have a small scoop, which already looks better. A sports scoop, which... Which one do I prefer out of those two? Probably the first one, to be honest. Performance scoop and the GT scoop. We'll go GT. Okay, so he has the carbon skirts on this thing already. But what do we want? What do we want? Let's have a little look. Okay, yeah, there's some definitely better ones here. Let's continue. What's the most expensive? Come on, show me the most expensive. I mean, it's not bad. It looks... Yeah. Kind of prefer these, to be honest. And do we do it in carbon? I can't even tell if that's in carbon. Okay, it is in carbon, the bottom, the splitter. But in the picture, technically I said I wanted to do what the picture has. And in the picture, they have this thing. So we'll do this. Spoiler. So as much as I like this spoiler, I do think it's sick. I, like I say, I want to go all out on this bloody thing. So let's see what else they have here. That is wild. Kind of reminds me of the AMG uh, Project 1 a little bit. But let's continue. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Let's be honest. That's what, exactly what I was thinking about. Okay, let's continue here. What else we got? You can do it in plastic. So that's your options, huh? Plastic or primary... Hmm. We'll do plastic. Why the hell not? Sun strips. You know we're going to need a sun strip on this thing, but I don't know which one I want to go for. I think we'll just do this one. I think we'll just do that one. Suspension. Hmm. You know what? Fine. Stock trunk, secondary stock trunk, or carbon stock trunk. We'll just keep it stock. Wheels. I think... Uh, do I want to keep the stock wheels on this thing? Because they are unique to this vehicle. And they do look kind of cool. It's like that chrome, but it's not, it's hard. I don't know what it's exactly called, but it's not like chrome. It's like super high polished wheels instead of chrome. I don't know. Let's have a look. I do like the ones that are on that picture though that I showed you earlier. All right, here they are. I was wondering where these wheels were. They're right here. And I actually really like them. The Hype 5. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick these bad viewers. Bad, badges? I was going to say badges and bad boys, and I said bad viewers. Anyway, wheel color. Hmm. White could look cool, you know. I mean, white would look cool if we had it, if we kept it like this color. But I think we're going to keep it black because I do want to make it like the one in the picture. Tire design. Yeah, we're going to have to. So we have the Atomic. The fuckaroo. I mean, technically we have this on the windscreen too. So this one would be better than the Atomic. Oh, the red. Uh, something about black and red, man. Something about it that just really... I'm starting to... I've just recently, I've been loving black and red. Nah, we're going to have to go for this one. We're going to have to. We've got the sticker on our windscreen. We need it. Bulletproof tires? Sure. Tire smoke? Nah, we'll just keep it as is. Windows? Yeah, we're going to go limo for sure. All right, now I need to paint this thing. So let's take it to the auto shop. All right, so here we are. Look at that color though, man. It kind of works. It kind of works. It reminds me, like I say, of the Mercedes F1 car. Um, so like I said, the reason I brought it to the auto shop is because if you have things that are locked because you don't do races, like I don't do a lot of races, so I have a lot of things locked. At your auto shop, you have way more things unlocked. Like, for example, the paint. So if you wanted to do chrome, you can do it. I couldn't do it at the other place. Not that I want to do it, but I couldn't do it at the other place. I mean, this purple looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Can you tell I like black and purple? It kind of matches my uh, auto shop here. But tell me that doesn't look beautiful. Look at that color. It looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely gorgeous, man. Big fan. This is definitely on the uh, possibility list. I mean, this purple's nice. The only problem with this purple is that, for the most part, it always just looks black. Like when you're driving it. So, unfortunately, it's just a little too dark. I think the winner, though, guys, is this blue. 
I, it just works. It just kind of works with this car. And I really, really like it. So that's what we're going for. Ultra blue. You know, tempted. Part of me is tempted to make it blue with then a little bit of purple in it like this, you know. Really tempted. Blue and red, anyone? Bruh. I'm not... It still looks sick. This blue and hot pink. It looks... It looks really cool, man. It looks really cool. What do we think? Or we can just keep it with the ultra blue. What do we think of this? Too boring. We have gone hot pink, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. All right, let's take this thing out for a spin and see what it looks like in the sun. So here it is in the shop. Looking absolutely awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, especially for a free vehicle. I mean, what a beaut. What an absolute beaut. What time of day is it? It's 3 a.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the sun to come out. And then we're going to take this thing out and see the top speed of it. And just see what this thing looks like in the sun. I can't wait. I love it though. I love the color. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. My new baby. <laughs> I think it looks great. I love the blue and pink. It just worked. I mean, look at that. Whoa. See that lag? That was a bit awful. Uh, it just works. It just bloody works, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen, it's not the fastest car in the world. Uh, I think the top speed of this thing. Let me actually double check. Let's go into first person here. And we should be able to get to top speed fairly quick. Let's make sure I just don't hit anyone. Okay. I think it's like 191 or something. 116. So it's not super fast, but look at that. <laughs> In my little bubblegum car. My little bubblegum car, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is goddamn beautiful, if you ask me. Let's take a little screenshot there for the thumbnail. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like this car? Have you uh, unlocked it yet? And if you have, did you unlock it by doing the first dose missions or did you unlock it because you have GTA Plus, ladies and gentlemen? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always, with a brand new video. Goodbye.